Hi, welcome to another ITS training video. My name is Marta Moreno. I am the Training and Outreach Specialist in ITS, and today I'm going to give you an introduction to Google Forms. To begin, open any browser of your choice and go to https colon forward slash forward slash docs.google.com forward slash forms. On the sign-in page, enter your Trinity email address and click Next. On the next page, enter your password and click Next. If you forgot your password, contact ITS via email at itsupport at trinity.edu or by phone at 210-999-7409. To create a new form, click on the plus icon on the top left. Welcome to your new Google form. On the top left, you will find the title of your form. To change the title, click on the Untitled Form text, highlight all the text, and enter your new title. To the left of the title, you will find a Move To Folder icon. Here, you can choose where you would want to save the form to inside of your Google Drive. Find the folder you want to move the form to and click on Move. Next over is the star icon. By clicking on the star, your form will be marked as starred and can be found in the star folder. To get to the star folder, go to the form's home page. On the right side of the screen, click on the folder icon. Click on the star tab. All of your start forms will appear below. Now, let's go back to creating the form. Notice that the title you have given to the form automatically changes the title on the top of the form itself. Under the title, you can add a description of your form. For example, if you're using the form for an event, you could give all the event details on the description. If you're using it as a survey, you can describe what the survey is about and give directions on how to complete the survey. Below you will find the form. The new form will have an untitled question. You have the option to select what type of questions you would like to use. Next to multiple choice, click on the downward arrow. Here, you will see all the options available for questions. In this case, we're going to keep it as a multiple choice question. In the title, we will enter the question. This question will be what Google Workspace application will you like to learn more about? Notice that next to the question title, you have the option to import an image. Click on the image icon, select the image you want to upload, and click Insert. Below, enter all of the answer options. To enter an answer option, click on option 1 and enter the first answer option. Our first answer will be Forms. To add additional answer options, click on the Add option. Notice that you have the option to insert images as an answer option. If you would like to duplicate the question, use the duplicate icon at the bottom of the question. You can also delete a question by using the trash can icon or make the question require by turning required on. Other question options can be found on the vertical ellipses. Options include showing a question description, going to a section based on the answer, or shuffling option order. On the right side menu, there are a few more formatting options. You can add more questions, import questions, add another title and description, add an image, video, or a new section. On the top of the form, you will see a tab for responses. This is where all of your responses will appear once submitted. Here, you can choose when you want to accept responses and when to turn them off. To create a spreadsheet from responses, click on the Sheets icon. On the vertical ellipses, you will get other options like choosing to get email notifications for new answers, select response destination, or download responses, print or delete them. Next over are the settings. Here, you can make the form into a quiz collect email addresses, 
send responders a copy of the response, or manage responses like restricting users to their organization. One down, you can choose settings regarding presentation, like show a progress bar, view results summary, and more. Below are defaults. These defaults will be applied to the current form and all of the new forms. In form defaults, you have the option to collect email addresses by default. Or in question defaults, make questions required by default. On the top right, you can customize the theme by clicking on the paint palette icon. You can choose to have an image as the header. There is a variety of images to choose from, or you can upload a new image or a photo from your account. Below, you can choose the color of the theme. To add a custom color, click on the plus icon and select a new color. When selected, click on add. You can also choose the background color. The last option is to choose a font style. Choose from basic, decorative, formal, or playful. All options auto-save in the form when they're changed. To exit theme options, click on the X on the top right. To preview the form, click on the eye icon. This will open up the form in a new tab. To close, just close the new tab. Next to preview are the undo and redo icons. These options can be used to manage any changes made to the form at any time. To share the form, click on send. Here you can choose to send it via email, as the link, embed it, or share it in social media. When done, click on send. The last options are on the top right on the vertical ellipses. Here you can make a copy, move the form to trash, get pre-filled links, print, add collaborators, and access to script editor and add-ons. This concludes the introduction to Google Forms. Thank you for watching our video.